changing this mirror out um the mirror is downstairs we'll get it after but here is oh sorry here is well y'all can't really see can y'all see now yeah because there goes the black faucet um this is off amazon if anybody's interested i'll link it down below so that's what we're going to be doing first we also have new tiles for the floor which are the same ones that we have downstairs in our bathroom if you can see we're gonna get started well i'm just gonna record i'm not gonna do anything and i have a mirror guys i'm so excited for the mirror for proper introduction today we'll be adding a new bathroom faucet a new mirror spraying the fixtures and the shower or grocery haul so i just wanted to say hey if this is your first time stopping on my channel hi my name is desnique i'm a married mother of three I do cleaning videos, organization, some hauls, some vlogs. So if you think you would enjoy that type of con that type of content, I would love for you to stick around and enjoy my fan by hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell so you'll be notified every single time I post a new video. So without further ado, let the clips roll. And while he's doing that, I'm just going to show you guys really quickly. So tomorrow, I am going to be spraying this um matte black with the rustoleum but the professional one y'all the professional works amazing i sprayed my kitchen faucet over a year ago it has nothing has happened um our stuff that's outside we spray like our railings and stuff nothing has happened it, it was then snow rain um heat sun everything so it can withstand water it's not gonna like rub off like the two times one that's probably more like for decor So, now that these are black, I don't like these handles. So, I'm thinking I'm going to spray the handles also with the Rust-Oleum. Um, I'm going to take them off tomorrow. And I'm going to spray these black with the Rust-Oleum Professional Spray. Because I'm going to go to Home Depot as soon as I get off work. And I'm going to spray them black. Because I definitely don't like the chrome at all now that that is. But we're going to reuse what we have. So, now we're going to take off the mirror. do that and I have to go get the other mirror guys it's not up here so yeah we're gonna go with the other mirror who made me feel so messed up hanging out with new females cute but are they even real bad jealousy I think it's jealousy but hell with it still look a melody or maybe I got problems Okay, y'all, so I just wanted to just come in here and show you what I've been doing. I don't want to bore you guys with me doing this part because very time-consuming. I'm going to still tape up here a little more 
I just cleaned this up. I'm gonna clean up one more time and I'm gonna actually spray that from right here. Um, I actually want this sprayed, but I'll do it at a later date. I mean, I want that sprayed, but I'll do it at a later date because hubby's not here to take that down for me. Um, the shower handle is off, so I'm actually gonna take this to my basement um, and spray it in there because it is 13 degrees here, y'all. I ain't going outside, but I have like a side to my basement that used to be a garage, I think. Yeah, I think that's what they used to use it as. So it's kind of like it's outside anyway, because it feels like outside. And we just hold like random things there. And I'm going to spray that. And I'm going to spray these handles. And yeah, so I just want to give you guys an update. I will be back. I will show you guys what I'm spraying and stuff. So let me finish this. It's probably going to take like a whole nother <laughs> 25 minutes to get this all situated so I don't mess up the tile and make this bigger with tape. So let me do that and I'll be back. I need this window open to be able to get ventilation and I can't open it. I don't know if they stuck because it's really cold outside. It's like 14 degrees. I don't know. And they haven't been open in a very, very, very long time. Um, I think honestly, since my husband painted outside of the, the house, like all the trims and stuff black. So I, I don't know if these are like, they're not opening. So we're going to keep going. I don't know how well you're going to see this, but my space is very limited. This side of the basement holds a lot of things. A lot of things. Like, it honestly, it needs a lot of help. It's a lot of things you need to go to the dump. There's things that... It, it's just crazy over here. So we're just going to try our best for y'all to see as much as y'all can see. I have no other place to do it. As I said, it's 14 degrees outside. Um... Let me go get a mask. Okay, so I took a break from doing what I'm doing in the bathroom and we went to ShopRite and BJ. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick grocery haul because something I have ice cream, so I want to get it away. All right, so we got rotisserie chicken where we're about to eat for lunch. They had some apple cider cake donuts. I wanted to try them. When we got them from like um the corn maze, no apple picking, they were delicious, and I was like, let's see if they taste anything like that. Um uh two cornbread mix, because I'll be making some cornbread tomorrow. Uh, cinnamon rolls from BJ's. Yeah, everything is mixed up. It's not all in order from store to store. Oreo Thin Salianaya. Some Rice Krispie treats because they didn't have the big one in BJ's. And I also got the ones for m and for Ariana. Uh, some Welch's fruit snacks. Some brownies. I'm going to make that tomorrow. Um, the 12 pack of mini Oreos. Some waffle cones for ice cream. The uh, 10 pack of Kool-Aid jams for Ayana. Some coffee cream, some mayo for our sandwiches, 
uh, two packs of the Fresh Stack um, Ritz crackers, uh, some water crackers, a 10 pack of um, Doritos, the party size Cool Ranch, cool Ranch Doritos. I'm um, gonna have four of the pizza doughs. If you've been watching my channel, I talk about this dough all the time. The Apicella's pizza dough is so good. Um, and then some of these Tropical Rhythm um, juices that Mark likes to drink. I have a couple more, but they're not in all in order. Two of the Stilk cold brew coffees. I think this is the best cold brew coffee ever. Um, then I got um, some ham, some cheese from the deli, some mozzarella cheese. Uh, I'm making a meal. I'm making like these chicken ch chimichangas uh, for dinner today, so I needed that. Um, also some iceberg lettuce for tacos and for sandwiches. Um, then I also got six of these almond milk, um, what do you call it, almond milk yogurts. It tastes really good with the Target um, granola. So that's, then I have, a, I'm stacked up on the granola. Then um, some ramen noodles, or oodles and noodles is what we called it growing up. Then we also, I got this big thing of cookie dough, so hopefully this lasts longer um, than what I've been getting for the kids. Some butter beans because we're making oxtail for dinner tomorrow. Um, some potatoes because I'm making I'll be making steak and where is the steak the steak and the chicken is not up here it's somewhere there's a bag missing because somebody look it's supposed to be steak and chicken the steak and chicken is it in a bag or is it still on the porch um so some cookies and cream, ice cream, uh, some guava, carrot juice. Hold on, y'all. We got to add. Go ahead, Gianna. <laughs> I'm like, wait, where's my steak and chicken? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. This is a little heavy. Hold on. Let me put this somewhere. All right, all right. So I just got distracted, y'all. Sorry. Okay. So some more of these um, tropical rhythms. For Mark, this is also pineapple guava, um, carrot guava, pineapple ginger, four of these Gatorades for Mark, cookies and cream, ice cream, not sure if I said it, bananas, um, a red, you know, a pepper mix, some grapes, um, we also got some gain detergent, some downy, they didn't have no Swabatel, Swabatel is my favorite, but BJ's didn't have it, um, some Old Spice uh, deodorant. This is um, the one that Mark uses. Some more um, Dove um, soap for the girls. We needed some more dryer sheets. Um, we needed more deodorant. All of us use the same one, all the girls. So I just buy that. And then I got the 12 pack of rolls for the sandwiches. And then I also got some flour tortillas because I'm gonna be using it for chimichangas. And also, if you, you know, for, I wanna start trying to make some type of breakfast burrito, so I'm gonna try um, some steak for the mashed potatoes that I'm gonna be making with broccoli. Some bread, because my kids go through bread so quickly. And also some chicken wings. I wanted to get the big bag of chicken wings inside of ShopRite, I mean in BJ's, but they, are, they have none, so. $15 for this, but hey, my kids eat wings, so I gotta buy what they'll eat. And then I got some paper towel. So that is it, we're gonna put this stuff away, we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna get back to going doing the bathroom. So, let's give you an overview of everything I got. Yep, the bags are still on the floor. Um, here's everything that we got. And I don't know if I know it, but this is a weekly grocery haul. Um, most of this stuff will be gone. Step, obviously, like, the non-edible stuff but like this stuff is not go this is gonna be gone there might be a couple of oodles and noodles left but other than that there's none of this is gonna be left it's all gonna be gone so all right y'all i'm gonna start up here we're gonna start spraying hopefully you guys can see put my mask on Things you do. 
like you don't even try I used to wonder why But now I'm left with no more tears to cry I know that life can be busy, love But you make time for the ones you love It's only right, it's what I deserve Love, tell me what you done Hey, okay, this is how everything is looking with the first school I'm trying to go cool sip on it You can see it's starting to dry So this looks I did get like a little bit over here, but I'll get it off with some alcohol. It did drip a little bit. I don't know if you guys can touch it. You see like right there. I just feel like if I would have taped off more of this, then I would have more range to spray, but I didn't. So I feel like I probably was a little too close and that's why. Okay, so the second coat is done. I think in the morning time, you guys will sorry my breath y'all I'm running I'm cooking at the same time um yeah so well, it's looking really good up there is done everywhere has two coats like I said I'm having a little mess in some areas but I'll get it up after but I'm very pleased how everything look for a can that costs under seven dollars and I said this is it if I didn't show it already and this is in black black so while the second cup uh, coat is drying let me just show you guys what I'm cooking um, so I was like why it's drying so no matter I sold this in there, so I didn't need stuff more than once today. So I got these resting. I'm gonna have these resting over here. I'm about to add some peppers and onions in here. Get all that in there. I'm gonna leave it in there. So just hold on a second. Um, you can see Wesley Farms. That's uh, BJ's. So I'm putting some of those in here and. So I wanted to have the flavor from the chicken and stuff. So I'm going to turn it down. Let it um, do what it needs to do. And off camera I'm going to hurry up and cut, slice these up. And then I'm going to show you guys what I do. Okay, so like I said, I'm looking. Don't want to talk about my stove. <laughs> but it's done. And I'm about to now set the tortillas up. But I don't have my tripod yet because it's actually upstairs in the bathroom. I don't want to really open the door. Uh, you know, so... Basically, what I'm going to do is, usually you could heat up a tortilla, but what I'm about to do, you don't need to heat it up. I'm going to place chicken in here, and then I'm going to place cheese, and then I'm going to wrap it, and we're going to put melted butter on it, and then I'll just show you what one looks like. So, I'm going to kind of try to do it with you guys with one hand. Let's try. So, we're going to take some of the chicken and the peppers, and we're going to just put it in the center. Hold on. Put that chicken in. We don't even need too, too much in it. Um, honestly, that's enough. So we put that in there like that. And then I have Gianna's over here because she doesn't like where the peppers and onions. And then I'm going to take the cheese. So hold on a second. Okay. And now I'm going to take some... Um, this is Mexican cheese and I'm putting on there. If you're curious, it's the next it's the Wesley Farm because I'm a BJ shopper. And um that's what it is. I'm gonna put some mozzarella cheese on it as well. And I'm gonna show you what I do. Let me fold it up and then I'll show you guys. Okay? So hold on. Okay, so that's what it looks like after it's folded. And then I just take my hopefully I can find it. Take my little brush. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to have my melted butter right here. And I just put it over it. Like so. And then I'm gonna keep doing that to the rest of them. Okay, so these four are gonna go in the oven and I'm just gonna do one more. Honestly, that's enough because Gianna will eat two 
Mark will eat two, and I'm just going to eat one because, you know, I'm cutting back. And that's it. Ayana and Lily is not even going to touch this. But, yeah, there we go. Put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. And then bon appetit. See what it looks like? It's absolutely delicious. Give it a try. You can put rice in it. Some people put rice in it. You can do whatever you want. But, yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you guys in the morning, but this is what it's looking like. I honestly feel like this right here, it might not hold up on it because it was like a very shiny um, type of material. But I'm going to let it cure overnight. And if not, this is just like, this is was this wasn't the one that came with. We actually bought a different one. So I can just order whatever this is, a hose to connect to this in matte black. And same thing with that. I had to clean that out, but I was like, let me let it cure a little bit more before I do that. And you can see, like, some places that got a little splatter right there. But it comes off with alcohol because I did try. But yeah, I'll just play finishing it. But other than that, and we need to get around there, I might just unscrew it and then clean it and then put it back in, which I should have did in the first place and just sprayed it, but I didn't. So yeah, I gave myself a little extra work. But besides that, it looks great. Now let's see how long it holds up we shall see okay so right here you just see me putting on the fixtures that i painted black and it looks so nice black and i'm just going to show you guys a view of the um shower in the morning time and i did want to just give you guys an update with the kids putting the shower hose in and out it did start to scrape because it's too much friction so i did order a hose and that was $13.99 on amazon and matte black one so that solved the problem but anyway we are getting close to the end of this video so if you did enjoy it, I would appreciate if you give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys and thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Okay, so honestly, I was trying to give you guys like a morning shot, but I don't be having time in the morning. So this is like 4.30 in the afternoon. So I'm trying to give you guys a look at it so you can see that you know it looks pretty good it looks pretty really really good this is actually the holes i did wind up just ordering the holes because i think i said it already in the i think i told you guys already that it was um this part right here got messed up because it was going in and out so i just literally just bought this for $13.99 you can honestly see some spots where i still need to get the paint off of I'm taking a break I'm done y'all and this is what this looks like up there it looks absolutely great so this is the final view of it and I think it came out amazing I'll let you guys know how it keeps up all right y'all taking time out taking